Hi beautifuls, it's Ananda Christ of Palladian Portal and this is your weekly vibe. It was brought to my attention this weekend. Um, I was outside and I was just listening to all the noise and um, yes, I am very sensitive to noise. I was a flight attendant for 23 years, so yes, jet engines in my head <laughs> for 23 years. So I do value my the, the silence and time, but what I have learned is through that time the, two, the time that I was away for, I've been, I haven't been flying for two years um, due to my injury and I'm now retired, that I actually moved forward so much more quickly and faster in becoming who I am. My, I, I should say I am presence due to the quietness and learning who I really am and seeking that truth. And, you know, as I was saying, I was watching my neighbors. We've got one leaf blowing, one neighbor is cutting trees. He, you know, he always seems to be, you know, working in the yard with some sort of um, motorized tool, let's put it that way. And, um, you know, people on the lake, they're having a great time, which is wonderful, but they've got the music blaring. And, um, you know, there's a time and a place for all that. But then it really made me thinking about how this busy, this doing that we're constantly, we are, is such a part of um, being detached. And um, they're distractions. And those distractions lead to being detached. Um, that's just um, my thought or my way of looking at it. And I even had somebody reach out to me saying, hey, help me, would you, I feel so disconnected from source, what can I do? And um, you know, and I told her, I said, first of all, um, and I always just give suggestions, whether or not they resonate with you, I'll never tell you what to do. Um, I said, you know, perhaps start journaling. You need to take some quiet time for yourself, be it journaling, going for a walk. You know, if you have a dog, take your dog for a walk um, and do it alone. You know, if you can do it alone, um, be outside in nature. Nature is so healing. And just taking that time for yourself um, to be just you and to hear your thoughts and not be afraid of your thoughts. Just let them come and if they're negative, just let them go. Release them. There's no need to hold on to them. Forgive yourself for thinking them. You know, ego is very strong. Uh, you know, in, it takes quite a bit to overcome um, this, you know, I hate, I don't want to say strength of the ego, but that, that's what it is, you know, and um, no matter where you are at, at your awakening process, you have ego to deal with because ego then turns into spiritual ego and you need to keep that, I have to say, sort of in check. Um, so there, it's, it's always going to be there, so making peace with it. Um, but what I just want to say is the big message that I got was that this, um, all these distractions, all this to-do list in, doesn't put us in a centeredness of us in our being. So I do hope you take some time, find a quiet space, you know, tune into yourself um, and so you aren't so detached and um, connect with yourself, connect with Source and connect with Mother Earth, okay? Have a beautiful day. Namaste, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.